crushing trap maybe. Okay, let's just let's just uh, keep this. I'm a lodi. So for this exactly, oh, that's what I wanted to see. So this exactly, we got the Dobatano archers, also a little bit like Pafko Gale, and for later, because he's gonna play some big dudes, he's gonna be pretty happy about that. But we're playing Pit Trap, uh, which is gonna be awesome. Rip in peace. So, yeah, like even hell. <laughs> But we don't have a way to kill it. But I can play Puff Kugel. Maybe he's gonna do it. Unlikely. But this will force him to stop uh, playing some dumb, dumb stuff that does nothing. Basically, what you, how you should make a deck right now, or at least that's kind of how I made this deck, is that you just, well, this is not exactly revolutionary. Uh, instead of just like trying to make a, a deck that's awesome by its own, which is which is like, kind of like most of how you make a deck, but you also kind of need to build against the meta because the meta is pretty rigid. You got the monsters. Doing the same thing, you got Crack doing the same thing, and you got some Nilfgaard, kind of. And no Realm, and Squirtle is not really a, a player. Okay, let's just go for some value generation. He doesn't have a specific row. Likes to stay on. Now, this is tricky, because, actually, maybe I shouldn't have played that. And the tricky part is, that... Yeah. The tricky part is, that... If we can't win round one... If I just go deep here, and we lose... We are fucked. Because he's gonna push us round two. We're gonna struggle. And round three. Probably gonna be short. Um, it's gonna be tricky. But if I pass now. Which is a little odd. But bear with me. So we pass now. He plays another card. He has to. He, he probably wants to play. More cards round two. But it's gonna be. Eight cards versus. No no no. It's gonna be 9 cards versus 10 cards, so he can't win there. And it's gonna be a long round as well. So we are good in long round. And uh, he might push us round 2, I don't, I don't know. But I think the best outcome for him round 2 could be that... Maybe he uses up everything. Who knows, maybe he uses up everything. But in that scenario... He would, but well, he would not win. It, it, well, round two, and he would probably be down a card, and we still have some options. So I don't know. I'm just a little concerned to fighting him in a shorter round. And of course, like trying to prevent that by winning round one is is pretty sweet, but I'm not sure if he can necessarily do it. Hmm. I need to shovel back the traps into the deck. Yeah, eight, eight cards versus ten cards. I can actually try to force him into this round. By playing uh, the Witchers. That's gonna force him to play another card. If I 
if I play the smuggler, then I'm kind of giving him an out. You know, you, you can go away. It's fine. But I think he's gonna play more here. Special prize, just for you, love. And I'm not terribly unhappy to play the smuggler. He might pass next turn and off last say next round. I'm not I'm okay with this, because it's gonna be a long round three. Where he didn't even play any big dudes. Okay, uh, just pass. But I didn't want to get the witchers. Yeah, getting uh, into a few of my good cards would be great. Uh, well, this is tricky because not only I have too many traps in hand, but I also have no way to get out the traps. This is actually better. Than the Mahakam Horn in long ground. Obviously this is bad. Yorvid's Gambit. Perfect. But we don't have Ragnarok. We might get the Crushing Trap. Which is not great. No Ragnarok though. I think... I think this is just fine. Alright, let's go like that. We can start with the Elven Swordmasters in the front. They can generate some value. Hooligan Trapper? Wants to rather have Artifact. The Sapper. Uh, we can finish it off. I can just put it back. <laughs> this isn't the row. Hmm. Go back. I believe in you. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Not sure what to do. They can hide, but there's no escape. Let's go with that. These are still five units. I like the archer quite a bit. Hit that. Play the Elven Scout in the back. Can wait. You can just play this randomly. <laughs> um, but yeah, Elven Scout can get played. Preferably play this. We gotta play that not last. Alright, we're killing the five units. Like, meh. 
These guys are pretty good. I really like them. Just suggestion, first launch uh, Swordmaster ability, then play an elf. It decreases his timer. Uh, yep, that's what I'm trying to do. Ooh, boost. I think, yes, I'm gonna play double crushing trap. So, let's hit that. You can just randomly play a pitfall trap. It, you know, we, we don't really have a reason to play a pitfall trap. This is just like a tricky move. Plus also... It's a bit awkward. So we gotta play this at 2 or 3. What? These 2 or 3. Count Cobalt got killed. Uh, this can be played anytime. Preferably, this gotta be five. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. How should I say this? Uh, I'm, I'm saying which round... Well, this is gonna be the last. Uh, one before lasts. This is actually, again, has no purpose. This guy is playing nothing. I'm so annoyed. I don't want to move his units, that's so dumb. Why does he play everything in the back? Okay. He knew for a fact that I was not playing. <sighs> oh, fuck. Uh, a pit trap. What am I supposed to do? Play a Vrihi Dragoon? Then... Then just like Brewer it back? I might just like crushing trap. No, no, no. Oh, I don't know. We, we have enough crushing traps. So it's gotta be uh, pit trap again. Not sure when. This is so weird. Maybe. Well, I can move my own guys, technically. Slaughter them to a man! I can do something like that. Could have locked his necker. Mm, true. I suppose this is a decent time to play the crushing trap. And this is gonna be a tricky time to play the crushing trap because we're gonna your vet. Go back. Enough of this fight. Uh, peaceful trap. Let's play the pit. Yeah, we are, we are taking back the pit and playing the crushing. Log the unit. 
He's not gonna play Kyro next now because he's afraid of uh Well I would need to kill the unicorn. Blocking it alone is not good enough. He probably has a Chiron Axe. Hey, John. Uh, the problem is... He knows what I'm doing now. I don't think it's possible the Pitfall Trap is gonna hit him. Hit his last unit. If you don't pitfall trap now, so not your lucky day. Gerald Yurden. Doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I think this could be the could be it. 18 points. That's too much. So what was not that was 19. We lose by one point. If I lock the duck earlier, we we will take it. Trap Elves, I can never imagine in a million years this deck is ever good. Uh, you would be wrong, this was our first loss. GG. Okay. Uh, this is not too bad, because as Bruver, I'm not overly reliant on my hero power. But, you know, I kinda like to have a not complete garbage opening hand. Bit tricky. So do I... Try to get more here? So if I play this, he probably has a lot of ways to kill it. Let's do like this. So he would need to use some kind of a, a hard counter in this scenario. We might just go for like a big push, then pass. He would need to push us round two, uh, which is gonna be tricky. I'll relieve you of that pouch. Uh, that's odd. He probably has Ragnarok because I. This is not what you play with uh, uh, Dragon's Dream. I can just move my own guy. Onward, fry head! 
Give me the boost. Fucking intense fights. Slaughter them to a man. Hey, Volney. No, Judge. Ooh. I can't kill it. Okay, I'm doing that, then passing. Not much left of that world. Is this still a good idea? But he would need to play a seven. The problem is, for me, losing round one after a long round is a little risky. I don't really want to do that, so I'm just gonna pass. I did what I wanted. Well, it, it was a little odd, but we kind of got something out of it. Uh, that's bad. The double trap would be the worst to delete. Thanks for that. Uh, don't need it. So obviously he's committing to a uh, pass round two. All roads lead to Milfgaard. You've got movement. I don't know. Hi, I saw that you net decked me. Unseen spears list. Me? Oh, this guy might have spears. Uh, good that you bring it up. I gotta look for some better cards. Now the question is... Does he have spears for sure? And how many of these guys am I gonna keep? We don't know if he has spears for sure. We might keep one, but the guy's a little bit boosted. That's obviously a big, big plus. All right. Cards in the deck. Uh, can't argue with that. Don't know. Like this is pretty good. That's pretty good too, but might die. Not sure about the reheat sappers, but could be handy. Uh, that might die. I think that's too low to survive. Okay, this allows me to have all the traps. Uh, I think we should start with Puffco. Because in all likelihood, he has wasted the deal 4 damage. But not 5 necessarily. Yes, locks. Uh, I don't have movement. We're playing the Ragnarok pretty damn soon. They're not really aiming to get anything with the pit trap. Not sure if he's gonna play many interesting uh, things on the melee row. But yeah, let's just do that. Okay. 
Uh, double Crushing Trap looks good to me. Uh, Elven Scout, Pit Trap, Mahakam Horn. Yeah, we could just get, go like Mahakam Horn. Um, we'll see. Zappers. He doesn't have a, a weapon, but I, I kind of prepared against it. RNR, most underrated card. Uh, it's really good in this. Uh, you can you cannot get away from long grounds, uh, Gwent. Pretty good, especially if you are Mr. Brewer uh, with a bunch of movers. Uh, it even rhymes, so he's the man. Uh, really makes good use of R and R. Six points, twelve provisions. It's gonna be nine points, and uh, also gonna line up. Even without movement, the range row perfectly for the double crushing trap. I think that's gotta be uh, worth something. Hmm? <laughs> Come on, that was expected. Roach has to uh, show up for that. I, I didn't even mention that. So that's that's a pit trap possibility for my opponent. So he's got to be a little careful. We can just play the Reed Sappers. So we're gonna play this one before last. For sure. That's it. Uh, I can play the Reed Sappers. This doesn't matter. I'm not sure if he's... Well, we should probably Elven Scout then Pitfall Trap. Okay. He fucking loves the fire, man. You should not have come here. My die. I get killed by the Witcher. Not much I can do about that. Next is Pit Trap. Then Yorvet. Most likely. We'll see how it works. He just loves the fire, man. Avon Scout. Last for nine. Uh, I guess you could be right. Uh, that would have been a, an okay proposition. Back in line. But this is technically the most value. If you're gonna need the ranger, so we can play the ranger now. We have, we have. The only problem I have is that if his last card is like a horn, then we are pretty fucked. I am who I need to be. I don't think we need to maximize uh, value, but we gotta make sure that we are getting some value. I care for that. Good. I'd hoped we could solve this some other way. Well, that's annoying. Do the card advantage cheese. 
Great. He knows you can move it back by Brewer. This can Uh, last year it would be too much. Uh, we can brew her, obviously. Sometimes I've had it. <laughs> I like how he just drops the crown. Rip. GG.